Especially for the one that follows the prices day in and day out, really to see some of this volatility come back. Like you said, it would make a lot of sense because Bitcoin was in fact created out of the banking crisis. And I think even the first block that was mined even referenced to the bank bailouts. So from a narrative perspective, that makes a lot of sense. But I think even with all of the banking crisis front and center right now, this is really just a move after the CPI data. It's an extension of the rally yesterday, but you really saw that big jump this morning right after 8.30. Uh, despite the banking narrative, hmm. despite the banking narrative, crypto really trading still like a stock and motivated by a lot of macro factors. So is there any consensus on what it's moving for? I mean, it's not an inflation hedge. It's maybe not the future of money because the dollar right now <laughs> seems to be that. Right. I think that the Bitcoiners would tell you it's kind of all of it. But in terms of the prices alone, it's going to continue to move like a stock, even though as of today, Bitcoin's correlation with the Nasdaq is actually at its low, at historic lows even. It's still driven by a lot of macro factors and a lot of investors and analysts don't really see that changing until you see institutional investors start to come back into the market. <laughs> so they've been sitting on the sidelines post FTX and you know, it's it's but are they if there's two banks that have collapsed that were handling all of those flows, are institutional investors coming back in the market? Yeah, it's a it's a good question. There's still I think despite the fact that you saw this big relief rally in January coming out of everything to do with 2022 and after FTX. Yeah, they're still sort of sitting on the sidelines. And you can tell that because volatility was at an all time low hmm. in January, which is both good and bad because volatility is the biggest hindrance for institutional investors. But it's also, you know, we're still as of today down more than 60 percent from Bitcoin's all time high. Hmm. Not going to get back there without some volatility. I, I would I'd say it's foolish, but I don't I don't know how you could be so foolish as to make right. that kind of bet. Well, now we're looking at investors scouring the market, worried that other banks have put themselves in a similar position. Banking is all about confidence. The FDIC, the Fed, Treasury are taking steps to make depositors whole at those banks affected. But if you look at KRE, the ETF that tracks regional banks, it is still down 11 percent or so. What needs to happen, Bill, to restore investor confidence in regional banks right now? Well, first of all, I would I would say I'm not generally worried about banks. Um, most banks are sound and have been doing things the right way, and the regulators, I think, for for the most part, have been on you know on the ball and doing things right. Uh, I, I think there there are institutions that have been aberrations, and there are three of them that have occurred in the last couple of weeks, uh, and and uh, that's of concern. But it, but I don't I don't I don't get concerned about the whole system because of that, and I wonder whether. This reaction, and I, I can't, I can't criticize them for, for deciding to uh, bail out all the depositors, but because um, I've done that, my, you know, my, myself yeah. uh, at the FBIC, but, but I, I think that uh, I, I really wonder whether we, 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 there was something that we might have done that was less dramatic, uh, and, and less, less of a bailout. Um, Do you think it, what we're not, seeing right not, now, Bill, good to, oh, Pardon? Do you think what we're seeing right now is a bailout? Well, clearly it is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's not a. It's not a bailout of the of the shareholders. They're getting wiped out. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, they should be. And the management are, you know, and the directors are losing their jobs. That's fine. That's what it should be. Um, it, it, they they basically did what we did with Continental Illinois back in 1984, and and I can hardly criticize somebody for doing that. I I do wonder whether it's appropriate in the circumstances to go that far. But, you know, that, 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 that's second guessing. I'm not going to do that. But I, I do think that we shouldn't overreact to all this. I, people, you know, the public needs to be calm. The, the regulators will take care of this. My worry is not that we're not going to take we're not going to uh, take care of it enough. We're going to you're not going to calm things down enough. I, I worry that we're going to we're going to do too much mm. to protect too many people that don't that shouldn't be protected.